It's a culture of collaboration. It's also a culture of learning. Our school is so great because it's so integrated. Um, just because I teach eighth grade earth science doesn't mean I don't teach technology, engineering, art, and math. Brooklyn Junior has always been ahead of the curve as far as the use of technology goes. How does an engineer design things? What is the, the definition of process? Constantly changing. And that's what art does because it constantly moves and flows. We think math is exciting every day here. Brooklyn Junior High is a place where young people come together to learn and grow. And we're excited that you want to be part of the Brooklyn Junior High community. Brooklyn Junior is special because of the way that they've set up the climate here at the school. It is where everyone gets a chance to try everything that they want and they get to explore it. I love being a student here at Brooklyn Junior because it's really fun to see where everybody else comes from and their different backgrounds. Everybody diff wears different things, does different things, and it's really cool to see it all happen in one school. When you walk into the, the doors at Brooklyn Junior, you will realize that right away that this is a culture of caring. It's a culture of collaboration, it's also a culture of learning, that you can walk in any classroom and you can see that each and every student is cared for by the teacher. It's really fun to watch them get inspired and, and connect the dots and, and watch them grow through the year. We believe that we want to offer our, ch our children that go to school here as many opportunities as possible for academic acceleration. And so sometimes we have to think outside the box. Some of the teachers use the flipped classroom model, which is where students get in direct instruction at home. That way then when they're in the classroom, it's all hands-on experience, help with their homework. And that's important because every child should have the opportunity to accelerate and be provided with as much rigor as possible academically. I've taught at Brooklyn Junior here for over 30 years and I've always enjoyed it, but I'm always looking to evolve and make things new and exciting and engaging for students. So by going to a STEAM uh, curriculum or STEAM school, we're able to make our partnerships with the community, the real world, uh, and just take things that we've done in the classroom and have students see how they can be applied. They're still excited to explore the world around them. And so if you can get them to explore the world around them and learn the design process and learn how much fun it can be to engineer something and create something and to research something, then you've caught them for when they get stuck in math. You can say, but this will help you when you build that robot. Science has evolved quite a bit, mainly because it used to be just classroom discussions, show us something, stuff like that. Now we've actually taken it in a more hands-on, minds-on on type situation in our curriculum. You really can connect it with anything you do and it ties in with so many other things. There's so much to learn about our world and you're really never done. So science, the whole process and doing experiments really helps you learn a lot about your world and why things happen and how they happen and really gives you a lot of the answers that are so much fun to find in the first place. I love the hands-on aspect because I can relate everything that I do in my own life back to science, and so I can help make it interesting for students. It's not just about the textbook. It's really fun to watch them get excited and passionate about uh, something they're working on or just watching them get that aha light bulb moment when they connect the dots between something they're learning in social studies or math and they go, hey, we just learned that. I'm like, I know, isn't that great? See, this is easy, you can do it in science too. Brooklyn Junior has always been ahead of the curve as far as the use of technology goes. I think with our implementation of STEAM, the staff has really gotten on, on board. We're excited and we've looked at new ways of taking our old curriculum and um, technology and implementing them together. You get to use a variety of different technologies. I've used iPads, regular computers, flip cameras, iPods. So there's just a variety of different things that you can use for it. We wrote up an entire play on an iPad. If I say we're learning Shakespeare, there's a groan. If I say we're learning Shakespeare and we're using iPads, there's that excitement and now they're motivated to learn a little bit more. Project Lead the Way is our technology, our cornerstone of technology. What used to be the old industrial arts type classes like that, but they've taken it so it's more computer-based, more engineering design. They're actually making things, trying different things out. There's so much stuff that you get to do in Project Lead the Way. You get to make bridges. You get to use Autodesk Inventor and make 3D models. We actually got some of those printed, 3D printed, and you get to do robots. We designed switch plate covers, like for the, you know, sw light switches on the wall. Kids went all the way from designing it in Autodesk Inventor, which is a CAD program, to sending it off to uh, 
Red Eye, which is the division of Stratasys, which makes 3D printers, and they, through the goodness of their heart, volunteered to, to print them for all the kids in the class. So the kids got to, you know, go from designing to actually getting a production model in their hands that they themselves made. In seventh grade, on the first day of school, my new engineering teacher gave us a project immediately um, where we had partners and we were supposed to build a design of a bike rack. We designed it and then we put it in the CAD designing program on the computers. So like you could, it was like actually there it seemed like. Our engineering teacher had the bike rack made and we had it put up at Zanewood down the street. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with what STEM is but we've added the A, which is the arts, and the arts then try to look at the whole student, whether it's engineering, design, or science like that, arts play an important role. STEAM is something that is constantly flowing, constantly moving, constantly changing, and that's what art does, because it constantly moves and flows with society. It's constantly changing. Putting the A in STEM to make it STEAM uses, makes it more of using the left side of the brain instead of the right side of the brain so the students can use their imagination more, exercises the parts of the brain that they don't usually go for. The really cool thing about music is that I talk a lot about science, I talk about math, I talk about English, um, how you put together, you know, every, the history. Putting together a song that is always written about something or someone, just using all the different elements and how we use it here. Having a strong math curriculum, which we do at Brooklyn Junior High here, we try to focus on that and bring that full circle so students are able to apply that in a variety of situations. We use math in science. We use math in art um, a lot more than people realize. And um, we also use, there's math in music. And so, yeah, it's all interrelated. Math is the language of science. And so it's really important that we work closely with the math department and we teach the, the same things the same way. and and really incorporate it into our everyday lesson plans and for homework. And we're really looking forward to collaborating with teachers now that the whole school is STEAM, having um, more opportunities for us all to work together. To raise a child that takes a village, and so it's not just the school's responsibility to teach our children, but it's also our community partners. We've got partnerships with Boston Scientific, who's a huge one we've got. They've uh, we've set up field trips there, they have a mentor program, we brought them in as our brown bag lunch speakers. As a medical device manufacturer and developer and creator, it's really important for us to think about our future and what kind of talent we're going to need and um, you know, what kind of skill sets we're going to need. And as we look forward, we know that we need kids who are strong in science and in math in engineering and technology. And so as we look uh, to the skill sets of the students, uh, that's what we're looking for. We're proud um, of the things that we're doing at Brooklyn Junior. And we're really excited um, to share about the, the wonderful things that happen within these four walls. Because we have remarkable teachers and we have remarkable students. And we want you to be part of the Brooklyn Junior High community. You can do that by viewing our website. You can do that by calling us or just stopping in. Our mission is to inspire and prepare all students. All students. All students. With the confidence. Courage. And competence. To achieve their dreams. Their dreams. Their dreams. Contribute to community. And engage in a lifetime of learning.